The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Uh, today we're going to talk about Block Star, uh, Pop Smoke. Um, alleged trigger man, excuse me, um, was just arrested um, after he'd been on the run pretty much for ever since he cut off his ankle monitor. Let's jump straight into it. For those that know, uh, Block Star was the guy, one of four people that was charged and uh, arrested for the Pop Smoke hit. Because he was the uh, the youngest one at the time, he was 16. Uh, he only received four years and I believe two months for his, you know, being uh, the, the the trigger man behind the pop smoke hit. You know, um, ever since this guy got up, man, I don't feel like um, he took his second chance at life serious. You know, um, I think he he think that it's like Grand Theft Photo, but that's what happens when you get four and a half years for doing something like that. I don't feel like he never took this situation serious at all, you know, uh, but vice versa, if that would have been him receiving 25, 30 years, you know, if he'd have a totally different outlook, you know, but uh, he pretty much did an interview with No Jumper, and ever since then, man, you know, it's just been going left for him, you know, um, dudes from New York been coming to California, you know, uh, trying to trying to let it be known that they'll pull up to California at any given time. You know, his um, P.O. tried to get him to turn himself in, you know, and um, this guy cut off his ankle monitor. And uh, pretty much ever since then, man, you know, he's been on the run, you know, running. Uh, he just recently just did an interview with uh, Chicago uh, uh, blogger legend. Um, 16 shot him and pretty much 16 shot him was pretty much saying that, you know, after they interview, you know, dude got arrested, you know. Um, am I shocked? No. Um Dude thought that he was going to cut off his ankle monitor and, you know, just be running around L.A. And, and, you know, doing interviews and doing this and doing that. No, man, you know, he got off doing four and a half years for the hit, but he still had, you know, um, he still had other legal issues that he had to work out. You know, he just wasn't released to just do whatever, you know. But um, when he cut off that ankle monitor on live, man, um, you know, that was his setback, you know. And I'm going to keep it a buck with you. You know, um, this this guy's about to go right back to prison. You know, I'm going to keep it real with you. Um, I don't see, I, I, I think honestly with you, I feel like he's about to have to finish his term out, you know, in prison. But I feel like, man, that, um, you know, this guy ain't taking this serious. You know, the fact that he was involved in something as heinous as somebody losing their life and he don't take it as serious and he wants to, like do interviews and like gain notoriety off of it. That lets you know what type of mindset he is. That lets you know he probably ain't even got no money. You know, this may be funding up his lifestyle. You know, but it's just sad, man, that you know, um, Block Star is twenty one years old and he don't have no sense of purpose and no direction in life. You know what I'm saying? Here it is. You got a second chance at life, a uh, second chance at freedom by only receiving four and a half years. For uh, a crime like that in L.A., somebody usually would probably would get life, you know, because of your age, you got lucky. You know, if you was the same age, 17, when they arrested you, I mean, when you committed the crime, bro, you wouldn't you wouldn't have the same type of four and a half years. But I don't feel like dude never took it serious. I feel like, you know, he took this whole thing as a joke and as a game. And we seen it, you know, when he got out, he doing interviews, he doing this, he arguing with people online, just... I just felt like, man, this guy, man, um, I feel like he don't take it serious, you know? I just feel like, you know, um, he don't take this pop junk serious, man. And it's sad that, you know, somebody lost their life, man. Four dudes, you know, wanted to, 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 to rob somebody for some jewelry and turn out that y'all got to watch. And then when y'all pawn it for y'all, get two $2,000. So y'all did all of that for $500 a piece. Think about it. $2,000 divided by four, that's only four, $500 a piece. So y'all did all of that to only receive $500. So, I mean, at the end of the day, man, I mean, I just hope those decisions that y'all made in life was worth it, worth it, you know, but the way Blockstar headed, man, you know, uh, he, he, about to be, he, he headed right back to prison, man, you know? And I can't say I didn't see this coming because when he cut off his um his ankle bracelet on live, man, I mean, 
I already knew what, what, what that was going to be right then and there, but it might be the, be for the best stuff, be, be for the best for him, you know? Who knows, you know? It might be the best for him to get locked back up right now because the way he trending on the internet and where all them New York dudes is coming to California looking for him, it might just be the best for him, you know? But at the end of the day, man, um, I hope and pray that all of the... All of the youth that's out there, man, I hope they use this situation as a life lesson and just try to, yeah, I just, I just hope and pray that a lot of the youth use this as a, um, as a situation, man, to where a learning situation that here it is that a 16 year old boy got caught up in the streets and the gang life and he just threw his life away. He 21 years old right now and still don't have nothing. You know, still, still life ain't worth nothing. You know, you did that to pop, man. And four and a half years later, what? What did you get out of your life? Other than a reputation or stripes in your hood or, you know what I'm saying? What did you get out of life? Dude, you didn't get nothing out of life, you know? And that's the sad part about it, man, that a lot of kids is throwing their life away, man. And they ain't getting nothing out of it. They ain't getting nothing, nothing out of it. Nothing at all. This dude want to go viral talking about a situation that happened five years ago because he had nothing nothing to look forward to in his life. Nothing at all. You know? Nothing at all. Man got manipulated at 16 years old by the gang, man, to, 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 to go commit a crime like that. And four, five years later, bro, look at you, bro. You still got nothing. You got to do interviews to support your living, man. So if y'all kids want to game bang and be like block star, y'all go ahead, man. Y'all see what y'all gonna end up with. But um, like I say, man, um, block star, um, the guy that just got released, I believe about last, I think I released about close to a year ago, um, just got arrested again after um doing an interview with Sixteen Shot uh, cameraman out of Chicago. But uh, yeah, man, block star just recently got arrested. Uh, breaking news, breaking news. It's Pop Smoke uh, Trigger Man that got that got a sentence to four and a half years because he was only 16 at the time of the hit. But this is the guy that they said actually did it, you know, actually did that to Pop. You know, like I say, man, my condolences go out to Pop Smoke, his family, his loved ones, his fans. You know, um, I know it's a tough situation that y'all got to adore, you know, watching this guy still gloat and still talk about Pop Smoke in that type of way. But at the end of the day, man, this guy going to get his karma. He ain't got nothing good coming for him. You know, you see, he just did all those interviews and all that stuff. And you see now, he still ain't got nothing. You feel me? Dude still ain't got nothing. But it's your boy D's Media signing out. Peace, positivity, network, growth. Let's save these kids. The D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs>